All right. Bob Maloney from MMANews.com. And tonight I am joined by Mary Cup. I was cage side at Ring of Combat 74 when she made her professional debut. A very excellent performance. She got the rear naked choke in the first round. Mary, it's coming up on fight week. How you feeling? Thanks for giving me a couple minutes. I'm feeling pretty good. Been working super hard. So I feel like, you know, I've earned this week, you know, but it's been good. Well, before we get into this fight you have coming up, let's talk about, you know, your first professional fight. I mean, you didn't need, you know, I know you trained for a longer round. You didn't need it. You fin got the finish. But tell me what are a couple of the things you remember about that fight? Um, uh, I The primary thing I felt about the fight was the freedom to use elbows. That was absolutely glorifying, just to be able to use a whole new arsenal of technique and ability to be able to use that. That's um, probably the primary thing that I was really ecstatic about with that one. That and the, um, I think a lot more cage work too, which helped a lot too. Even though like, I know I had some flaws there, but it still was, it felt solid. What were some of the things that, you know, your, your, your head coaches, what did they, after the fight, what would, you know, what did they try to drill into your head afterwards? I mean, they say you learn more from a loss than a win, but you, you don't want to hear that. You want to win, but what did they try yeah. to drill into you, you know, to take from that fight? Um, gauging distance and space better. Like I knew I threw a kick that would have almost landed on our head, but it still was not quite right. So we're, we're we've been working on that thoroughly with John and I. So it's been actually pretty good with that. But yeah, I think that's about it. That was, that was the primary thing was gauging space. That was a huge, huge component. That and footwork. All right, well, listen, you you fought Lauren Bracci. That was her pro debut. It was your pro debut. Your opponent that you're fighting on the 18th, she's got six fights, so she has a lot more experience than you. Tell me about how you see this fight, how you look at your opponent. Did you look at any film on her? Just give me, you know, in your mind, how you're looking at this fight and how you'd like it to go, how you think it will go. Well, huge respect respect for Gabriella Goldman. Um, she's has a whole, like, the people that she's fought were very, very interesting to watch. Um, the, a lot of her stuff that she felt confident in, she's actually competed in Pan Ams and a couple other IBJJF tournaments, but she hasn't made it, but she's still done very, very well. Um, it would be interesting to see the grappling game with her with that, but also I, it was very interesting because she did have a loss in amateur to Lauren, and um, she did actually have a couple other... Um, she would do finishes very, very well, but some of them she wouldn't quite get. She would almost get them and not get, but other stuff was, I don't know. I just loved watching her fight, so it's, it's going to be interesting and good to see. Okay. Well, let's talk about a little fun stuff. After the after the weigh-ins, you know, you, you've done your weight cut. What's What are you going to eat that night? What's, do you have a routine? What's What's going to be your, your good meal after you weigh in, getting you ready? Um, so we went to the one place just to like, you know, enjoy ourselves. And then after that would be most likely uh chicken, quinoa and rice for the next day after that. So, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a little bit stricter because after this one, I uh, have to do a um, Emerald City Invitational and that one I also have to weigh 125. So it's going to be fairly strict from here on out. So not much enjoyment. <laughs> Hey, listen, you 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 love the fight, so you know it's a sacrifice now. And 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 like I said, it'll be worth it in the long run. What's a good year for you? Uh, if you could get three, four fights in, what what do you think, Mary? What's a good year if you could, you know, in your mind, say if I can stay healthy and I can get through this fight? How many times would you like to fight this year? Ideally four. So I would like to be mixing in in between um, doing like the Emerald City Invitational. Um, uh, I would like to try to do Pan Ams and then also any other sort of jiu-jitsu tournaments as well. But I would like to be as active as I possibly can with the MMA realm. Well, do you pay attention? I'm sure you, you're a fight fan. And, and, and do you pay attention? If you're paying attention, I mean, you're seeing a lot of women with three and four fights getting opportunities on like the, on, on contender series and things like that. Do you guys talk about that at all or, or are you able to just concentrate on one fight at a time? Oh, always. So the thing is, uh, we looked at um, Gabriella. She did fight in Bellator. So there is, you know, this is where people people teeter on the edge of, you know, those open doors and opportunities. So 
for for us it's always an interesting like view of like where can we possibly go from here but the main goal is always when when and where are we going to fight next that's the main goal that and the who who is the next person that we are going to fight so it's always the research of who who's the next tier in the bracket possibly you know so anybody any, everybody i don't mind <laughs> So what's your what's your schedule like for the rest of the week? I mean, I'm talking to you tonight. It's Monday. Weigh-ins are Thursday. Is it just some cardio, some some technical stuff? What do you what will you be doing the rest of the week? Uh, primarily cardio and just light technical, and then uh, score. <laughs> awesome. So, but yeah, that's about it. Once again, I'm with Mary Cup. She's making her second professional appearance at Ring of Combat in Atlantic City at Ring of Combat 75, and I'll be cage side covering it for the site. And uh, Mary was exciting the first time I saw her fight. I mean, you were like a ball of fire. You had a lot of fans there. It was exciting. So I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Give some shout outs to your training partners, your coaches, any sponsors. Mary, give some love out. I know, you know, it's lonely in that cage, but you need a lot of support just to get in there. Oh, no, that's. Yeah, it may be just me in there, but it's a whole lot of people help me. There's a Modifier fin Fitness Gym. There's VS Hot Sauce, Menowenda Agency, and then, of course, the people, the gyms that I train at, Tom the Blast, Ocean County BJJ, and John Thornton MMA. And then, also, I want to thank South Jersey BJJ as well for a huge, huge support, and thanks. Well, Mary, best of luck to you. I will best of skills. I will see you in Atlantic City. And I also look forward to you competing in some more jujitsu tournaments. I love that you're working on all of your game. And, uh, you know, hopefully you're you're here to stay and make a name for yourself. And it's a pleasure to watch your work. Thank you giving me for, for giving me a few minutes of your time. And uh, we'll see you in a few days. Yep. Thank you so much. My pleasure. All right. Take care.